pushing into me, I have the traction here, I can push him away, I'm stable. But when his hips turn, it kind of, see, it's kind of slippery. So you can't leave your feet here. De la Hiva hook, turn on your side, foot is on the hip. If he tries to hit me with the front hand, base disruption, he'll never touch me. My hands are by my head, so that it forces a hooking punch. Right? My hands are here, he's gonna hit me down the middle, I'm gonna try to catch him. My hands are here, see? It's easy for me to block hooking punches to, to wrap the arm. So, as he tries to punch, I defend using my foot. So then essentially what's gonna happen is, he's gonna probably grab my foot, try to throw it out of the way, pass my guard, whatever. As he, gra as he grabs my foot, boom, fish, and retract. Now, once we're here, now the problem becomes the grip. If I just grab, the pull, if he pulls, it's, eh, it's okay if you use absorption, which we're gonna get into here in a minute. It's okay. But my thumbs are the weak link. If he goes up the middle, I'm, I cannot hold the grip anymore. So what I started doing was interlacing the fingers. So the two, these are your three strongest fingers. These are the two weak ones, right? These are your three strong ones, and then you have your two stragglers on the side. So what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing the weak ones with the strong ones. So now it's all strong, three-fourths of it's strong. This is the only weak link here, which is actually pretty strong because it's, uh, that is what's against, his, you know, if you notice that his hand is wider than his wrist, right? So that's actually what's running into it. So you actually get pretty good traction there. So the weakest one is, is okay. Now, if I'm gripping here, and you notice my thumbs are still in line, he's still gonna, no matter how good my grip is, it's still gonna come out. So what do I do? We shift the grip. So now my thumb is covering his thumb. And then we, we lay the thumb and then boom, we clamp it, boom. So everything is now pretty snug. He could try to come up the middle the way he was, but man, it's a, I'm not saying it's impossible. It's possible, but it's hard. Hook is here, I, I'm engaged by slightly pu pulling and pushing. So my legs are my stabilizers, they're what's gonna keep me consistent. And I'm giving opposing pressure with my legs, pushing and pulling, and that really gets me stuck, and I'm also pulling on the arm. Now throughout this week, we've been using the rock, uh, rocking up motion to establish our, our sit up by pulling and then pushing, rocking, and then coming to the back, right? Pull, get him to step, boom tack and switch to the back. That's the way we've been doing it. What, it, what that means is, as he pulls me up, I'm leaning. So he's actually transferring me over. So as he pulls the arm, I go this way. So it's a direct pull. Make sense? Once I'm here, you can pull, not just with the hand, but with the foot here as well. That gets him to step, catch the foot, switch, switch, pop. Now, whether you can hold this or not, if I can, I pull and extend. If I lose it, both hands come to the ankle. Elevate the hips, thrust forward, hug the hip, standing base. Hug the waist, climb the bottom. Not just absorb the grip, but have the best grip possible. So again, my thumb is not in line with the thumbs here. That's, I'm gonna lose it. It's slightly off. So instead of being here, I'm over it. So, when he tries to go, his, his thumb is hitting the meaty part of my hand. Fingers are interlaced, uh, and, I'm, and I'm folding over the thumbs here. If he tries to pull away, my arms go first, my body goes second, go slow. So as he goes up, look, my arms extend. As it goes up, I use my abs to finish the absorption, okay? So if I can hold 15 pounds of pressure, 15 pounds of pressure, there, 
I'm holding. The second he goes 16 pounds, I start to slip. So we must understand that concept because if he goes and it's 15 pounds of pressure, he goes 16, now I use my body to absorb, taking the strain off of my lock. So it's your whole body as absorbing his, his pull and it's slowing him down. I'm also, again, very connected here with the feet pulling and pushing, giving opposing tension. Cool? Okay, so check this out. A lot of you guys on the fall are just kind of letting go of this wrist, which is, you're still getting the hooks and you're still taking the back, you're still cool, but I'm gonna get a little greedy. I'm gonna just get, I'm just gonna see, sometimes this will fall in your lap. I think it falls in your lap a lot more than you think. Because when, when I pull and, and make him fall, what, is, what do his arms do? <sighs> There's that moment of zero gravity, right? You guys were falling, right? You felt what that was like. There's that moment of zero gravity where you drop and your arms kind of, what do they do? They kind of open, right? So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna make him fall. And then I'm gonna put his hand in my pocket. Boom, boom. Sorry. If his hand is palm down like this, I'm going to get the same side hook in and I'm going to relax, relax, I'm going and I'm going to hold and I'm going to straighten his arm. My rib is pushing against him. I'm holding his arm. I'm pulling and pushing. His arm is on. Okay. Now, with this out, five, go here. What's he going to do? Ow! And which direction is he going to turn his arm? Yes. So it's a win-win. So by trying to break it, what's he gonna do? Great, now it's on my hip, now I lay on, now it's gone. Now it's two against one. I start attacking his neck, now this hand comes in the body, boom, now that one's gone. Now it's two against none, I'm checking his fever. Anybody get the back? Snake behind and get the back, why not? Uh, good? Too busy punching on the face. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good week. Master control is no joke. It's, it is difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Once you understand the pattern and uh, understand how to get to the hand and, and, and work from there and suck people back into your guard, it's another good way to, to use it is to get to the wrist, feet on the hips, start pulling them in, get to his head, elevate the hips, bite the back, and kind of pull him back into you. There's a good way to do that as well. Uh, it, it is difficult, that's why I kind of like it to be its own thing. But the first three stages, you know, when you're low, postured, and kind of, even if they're driving into you, and you know, maybe off their knees, but the biggest problem is when somebody stands above you. That is always the biggest problem. And having some sort of a game plan to neutralize that. And, if, and what will te tend to happen from this, this uh, control is a lot of guys will, will rip away. And if they rip away, you rock up, and you can, yeah, exactly, get up. So now you're not on your back anymore, so that's cool. So what you don't want is you don't want them coming forward. You want them pulling away. You want everything to be pulling. You can always time it, push them, make space, rock up, and get up. Thanks for coming. All right, all right. Thanks, so.